This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we will learn how to create this cinematic trailer title animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. But before we start, if you're watching my video for the very first time, please do consider subscribing to the channel and like this video if you enjoyed this tutorial and follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. All the links are in the description below. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080 called this render as our main render comp 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more new comp, which is going to be a title placeholder. So let's call this title and hit OK. Select the text tool and then you can of course type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in cinematic. Also, make sure you keep the color of the text to black and I'm using the Euro style font, which is one of my favorite font and a pretty awesome font. I have mentioned the link in the description to download it. And by the way, you can download the complete project file from the link in the description below. So I'm going to set this to 200 and align this into the center. So let's go ahead and animate our text. So to animate this, I'm going to click on the small arrow, go into animate and first of all, enable per character 3D. Then again go into animate and let's add a position then we can drag the position out so i can hold shift and drag this till the time the text moves away from out of the frame let's go into range selector now we can animate the offset just like that now let's create a keyframe on the offset and set this to minus 100 go to one second and set this to plus 100 now go into the advanced properties and set the shape from square to ramp up. So now we have this really cool animation to randomize the way it animates. I'm going to turn on randomize order and then we get this really cool animation. You can also play around with the random seed to get a different look, but I think this is looking pretty damn cool. Let's set the ease high to around 20 and ease low to around 70. So we have a very nice movement in our text, which is looking pretty nice. That's that. Now let's go back into our main render comp, drag and drop in the title composition, then select the layer, right click and go into layer styles and let's add a bevel and emboss, jump into the bevel and emboss settings. So here we have our title animating. Let's set the depth to 225. Bring down the size to around 0.5. That should be good. Then close this. Select the layer again. Right click. Go into layer style. And let's add a gradient overlay to color our text. So I'm going to jump into the edit gradient option and click to create a new point and make this a nice darker gray. And then set this one to a much more kind of a off white color and this one oh this one to off white as well so something like that looks pretty good so now we have a little bit of more uh, depth to our text but let's take this one step further so select this right click go into layer styles again and this time i'm going to add satin effect which is a very cool effect and you can create a really interesting look using this then change the color of this to somewhere around like a darker gray should be good Set the distance to 35 and now I can animate the angle of the satin. Also, I'm going to turn off the invert so we get this really nice look. Probably I'll increase the darkness a little bit. Okay, maybe I'll increase the opacity to around 60. That should be good or oh, let's go with 70. We can tweak it later on if we want to. So let's go ahead and animate the angle. So I'm going to go at the very start, set this to zero. Create a keyframe, go to around 5 seconds and let's set this to around 180 should be good. So now we have an animating pattern which looks pretty awesome. I think 180 is a bit too fast. So let's set this to around 140. So we have a movement and it gives a sense of texture into our text. 
and it also makes it look like it's made of chrome or metal so that is the look i'm going for but let's go ahead and add some more depth to this so i'm going to make this layer into a 3d layer duplicate this hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second one hit p to bring down the position and let's set this to 20 so it's going to move it 20 pixels back just like that as you can see and then i'm going to jump into this let's uh go into layer styles get rid of the satin and let's jump into the gradient overlay going to edit gradient and i'm going to add a few more points like that and make them a nice darker black just to add a sense of depth into our complete scene so something like this all right now let's select this hit control d select this hit p and move this by 40 pixels control d let's move this by 60 control d and move this by 80 so that is looking really nice and it, it's giving the sense of metal which is pretty cool also one more thing that i'm going to do here is go into the title and make sure you turn on the motion blur this is going to make things look a bit more organic as you can see now it looks a bit more cooler with that nice motion blur yep that is the look i want to go with now let's select all the layers hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it call this let's call this metal text all right hit ok and then make it 3d and turn on the collapse transformation by clicking on the small icon so we have the animation and now i can go ahead right click and create a new camera gonna keep it at 50 millimeters hit ok let's create a new null object this is going to be our cam control so i'm gonna call this cam control hit ok and let's align this align the anchor point of this null object in the center and let's align this into the center make sure to turn this into a 3d layer and then parent the camera to this null object and now we can animate this so let's go to run one second hit p to ring down the position create a keyframe let's go at the very start and set this to around 2500 so now we have this really cool movement as you can see let's set this to half all right that is looking pretty nice let's select the keyframes you can hit f9 or go into keyframe assistant easy ease that out go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph let's zoom in a bit select this point and drag it to the left just like so so now we should have a very nice and smooth movement which is looking pretty good and let's also animate the camera position so select the camera hit f create a keyframe on the position and let's go all the way up to five seconds and let's move this back like that so we should have a subtle movement in our text after it's animated like that pretty nice now let's add some nice background to our complete look so i'm gonna hit ctrl y and call this bg for background all right let's duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it and then select this layer go into effects and preset and search for lens flare which is an inbuilt effect in after effects so let's change the lens type to 105 mm prime and let's go into effects and preset again add a tint on this gonna make it black and white and then finally add a curves on this to add some nice bluish tone to this so let's jump into the blue channel increase that really high go into the red channel and bring that down and then go go into the green channel and also adjust that as well so something like that is looking good then go into effects and preset again search for fast box blur let's apply that and drag this all the way up to get a really nice look also turn on the uh repeat edge pixels so now i can select the flare and i can move it into the position that i want i'm gonna keep it somewhere around like so and let's increase this to let's go with 120 or something yeah that looks much better also hit f4 and change the make sure to change the blending mode of this layer to screen hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the lens flare and then move this one right over here or something something like that and then hit ctrl d again 
and this time i'm going to make this much more of a whitish tone color and then select the lens flare and move this one at the top so something like this should look good probably i'll turn on the curves adjustment i think and select all the three layers hit t and let's bring down the opacity and let's adjust this one like so so we get this really nice look probably i'm going to play around with the opacity a bit more just to add a little bit of more background atmosphere to the complete look which i think is looking pretty cool now let's do some color correction so i'm going to close this up right click create a new adjustment layer called this cc for color correction and the first effect that i want to apply here is the curves just to increase the contrast a bit so double click to apply that and let's adjust the contrast a touch also i'm going to adjust the opacity of these two so let's bring that up a bit like so and don't worry about the color bendings we will fix this as we proceed with this tutorial so no worries then i will search for an effect called photo filter let's apply that and select an inbuilt effect inbuilt preset cooling filter 80 and let's set this to around 15 should be good so you get this really nice look and finally i will add some noise to fix the color bendings that we are getting here so let's search for noise double click to apply that turn off the these two options and let's set this to around three person that should be fine and then hold alt and click on the small button to switch to 16 bits per channel and now you can see we have fixed all the color bending issues now you may see a little bit of color bendings but that is because of the youtube compression now before i proceed further with this tutorial i just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor envato elements design better projects faster with envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your next project create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind envato elements will help you save a lot of time effort money get unlimited downloads with envato elements and start creating today so that is done now let's add some cool and nice particles to this so here i have a few assets that i will be using first of all i will be using this lens flare that i have set the blending mode of this to screen if you uh, want to use plugins like the optical flare from video copilot you are free to use that but i wanted to keep this tutorial plugin free so i'm going to use this image that i have and then i can animate this lens flare so let's go right over here probably somewhere around there and also make sure to turn this into a 3d layer very important so let's go right here move this a bit at the bottom somewhere around there and then hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this hit create a keyframe hit t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe hit u so we can see both the keyframes i'm gonna go right over here somewhere around there and let's scale this like so and then bring down the opacity to zero then select all the keyframes you can hit f9 to ease ease them or go into keyframe assistant and set this to ease ease so now we have something like this pretty cool and finally i will be adding some nice particles that i have here and drag this one here as well then select both of these and change the blending mode of this to screen also make sure you make them into a 3d layer and turn on the motion blur as well so this is gonna add a really nice movement as you can see so if i preview this we get this really nice cinematic text reveal so as you can see as we move forward in time the images are getting cropped up so i'm gonna hit s and scale them up to around 120 should be fine yeah that looks good and now let's go ahead and preview our animation let's 
now as you can see it is looking pretty damn awesome now if you want to add a tagline as well or a subtext what you have to do is you need to duplicate two compositions first is the metal text and the second one is the title comp hit control d so now we have metal text 2 and the title comp 2 jump into the metal text 2 select all the titles and replace them with the title 2 so hold alt and just drag and drop them there we go jump into the title 2 and then you can call it whatever that you want so i'm gonna call this maybe let's call it title motions all right let's go back here and then drag and drop in the metal text too just right over there let's move a few frames forward here and then turn it into a 3d layer and turn on collapse transformation hit s to bring down the scale property and scale that down to around 25 percent 25 percent is a bit too much i think so let's go with 30 percent or 40. all right let's move this right over here and as you can see the text is very very small so to fix some issues here i'm going to first of all turn off all the layers just want to keep the top one and then go into this so i'm going to turn off the bevel and emboss effect on this and that is looking pretty good also i can go right here i can bring down the title size to around 100 i think and let's increase the kerning a bit so something like that and now let's go right here and scale this up all right and let's go again into the metal too and turn on the collapse transformation for this particular layer so we have this really nice reveal so let's check out our animation now and as you can see it's looking pretty dope and boom as you can see there we have a cinematic title animation using some really simple and easy techniques so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please do make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you have already subscribed then check out our other amazing tutorials on title animations logo reveals i have a complete playlist and link to that playlist is in the description below also you can follow me on instagram at dope.motions and with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out